You don't know defining. Khabib though, the guy that was like f- uh, wrestling a bear in Russia, the Russian guy. No, he's a fucking beast. He's not. He retired because his father died, but um, he never lost a UFC fight. He's undefeated. I think he's like nineteen and really? zero or twenty and zero. He's a fucking animal. He's like the Mayweather of retired. UFC. Yeah, after his father died because he said he would he was never gonna fight a he was never gonna do a fight without his father. His father was his trainer. Oh wow. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's sad. How did his father die? I don't know. I have no idea. But he's a freaking animal. He's a beast, bro. And Conor McGregor fought him and was talking mad shit to him. He was like, he even talked about his father and his religion and a whole bunch of so fucked. Conor has no fucking limits, huh? That's the thing. That's why, like, because even him, like, calling the, the dude's wife a hoe, like, bro. Well, he didn't call her a hoe. He just said, well, kind of. He kind of did. He said, your, your wife's in my did. DMs. No, he said, oh, uh-huh. your wife's in my DMs. I thought he called her a hoe or a whore. I don't know. I thought he said, your wife's in my DMs. I know he said that too, but I thought he called her a hoe. Regardless, though, like when you start talking about family and like killing somebody and religion and all that, yeah. I'm all for trash talking. Like, don't get it twisted. Like, trash talk as much as you want. But I mean, in history, and not just UFC, there's some fucked up trash talkers. Like, you know who Kevin Garnett is? Sounds familiar. Basketball player. Um, basketball player. He won a championship in 2008 with the Boston Celtics. Yeah, yeah. He he was also in that movie um, with um, Adam Sandler, the serious movie that Adam Sandler did on Netflix. You don't remember oh, that? Oh, that he was a jeweler. Well, he was out there buying like something from a jeweler. And then Adam Sandler like gave him his lucky stone or lucky something. I forgot what it was. No, but Adam Sandler's character was a jeweler, right? Like he would sell. Yeah, he jewelers. would sell things. He, he would just like flip a lot of shit. Right. And but yeah, that, movie. yeah, that was Kevin Garnett. Uh, Kevin Garnett is known for saying some fucked up shit and trash talking. Like there was this really? one player called uh, Charlie Villanueva. And he had some type of issue where he was bald from a, like a, a younger age. And there was one thing that Kevin Garnett said... Um, he was like, you look like a cancer patient or some shit like that. What He's fucked fuck? up. He does not care. No filters. Ooh, another one that was really fucked up. Do you know who Tim Duncan is? Played for the San Antonio that. Spurs. So Ooh. Tim Duncan is a legendary basketball player as well. And Kevin Garnett told him happy Mother's Day when everybody knows, well, that like knows Tim Duncan, that his mother like passed away years ago. So he said happy Mother's Day on Mother's Day to uh, to Tim Duncan. That's like as, as a taunt. Yeah. He's fucked up. You think they really feel that way or they're, they're just putting up a show? I mean, there's some people that just grow up in that environment that they just talk shit and they just try to get a reaction out of you, bro. You know? Right. Trash talking is a big thing. Like there's a lot of people that even when I play basketball in LA Fitness... Um, for the most part, I'm pretty quiet. But if you start getting me riled up, like I'm, I'm gonna talk back. I'm not one of those that like you say something to me. I'm just gonna keep quiet. There's a lot of people that are like that. Has anybody ever offended you while playing basketball? I'm sure, but like I offended them back, or like we, I, I've almost like gotten in multiple. Stand, nothing stood out that you, you like really took offense by it. Um, no, I remember one time one of my teammates in high school. Um, me and him. Almost got in a fight, but it got broken up. But he was saying, because, you know, like being born in Brazil, I have that. Where is it? I don't even know where it is. It's this right here. I don't even know if you can see it. The little. uh, It's a vaccine shot. Yeah, exactly. A vaccine shot. So when he saw that, you know, because obviously when you're playing basketball, you're wearing jerseys. So your sleeves are cut. He was like, oh, you're a fucking immigrant. You're stamped. So he was like saying that. Yeah, I actually have two. You have two? Yeah, I have two. Look, one right there, another one right there. They fucked up on the first one? They went for a second one? I don't know what the what the issue was, but I got it. I got one when I was born and then, and then another one, I think, right before moving to America. True. So I don't know what the fuck happened. But anyways, go on. Go on. 
No, yeah. The, I mean, me and him ended up uh, one day almost getting in a fight before people broke us up. But, but uh, and, like, what'd you do? Like after he said that? I mean, I I said some shit back. I don't remember what I said, but that's that's what like rings comes to mind when you say like shit talking. But I I talk shit back. You know, yeah. not gonna let somebody talk shit. But at the same time, I'm. I'm glad I kind of grew up in that environment, especially like, you know, like we kind of grew up in a less fortunate area, like more of the hood. I went to a predominantly uh, um, black and Spanish school. So growing up in that environment, it's like dog eat dog. Like if you it's either you're the butt of the joke or you make somebody else the butt of the joke. So that kind of taught me to like, yo, like you got to fucking talk shit. Or else people are all just going to be laughing at you. You're going to get bullied unless you bully other people. You know, in a way, like I wasn't bully. I wasn't a bully to the point physically. Like I never physically bullied somebody. But verbally, I definitely bullied people like growing up. But that's because I got bullied. So it's like, all right, now I got to bully other people. Or I got to bully my way out of this in a way, you know? Yeah. Yeah, getting bullied sucks. I used to get bullied back in elementary school. Especially like yeah. not knowing English, people would like just take. Oh yeah, that. oh yeah. See that I got like so much bullying. I got bullied so much when I first moved to the United States, for sure, because I didn't know a lick of English. Especially Americans and whoever spoke English, they're looking at you just talking mad shit, and you don't even understand half the things they say. <laughs> You're like, mm-hmm. huh, huh, huh. Yep. No, but, but like whatever. these, yeah, like in my situation, like these kids were just idiots, bro. They would just like literally like run up on me, like literally run me, like <laughs> and try to knock me down, na- like like literally tackle me, like going back to class and like try I've to had knock that me before. down. I've had that before. I've had that happen to me like once, I think. It's fucking great. But th- that's the thing, though. Like if you react and you try to fucking knock them down, you try to fight. I guarantee you they don't do that shit again. And that's kind of what I learned. It's like, all right, you want to fight? Let's fight. You know? I wish I could go back in time and, like, fix certain situations like that. Because, bro, like, just looking back, like, I could have done so much. I just, I didn't have the courage back then, you know? Yeah. Especially being in in America, like, not knowing shit, not knowing a lick of English. Like, how the fuck am I even going to, like tell on them even you know yeah so yeah it's part of it man i'm glad that happened though because that kind of that builds up your character you know i guess it does it does i mean imagine being baby throughout your whole fucking life and not facing any adversity yeah you gotta you gotta you know that's what life especially Especially now that we're on fucking social media and we're creators and stuff, like you gotta have thick skin with this shit. You gotta not care about what people say. I'd be putting out a lot of content that's very controversial and people will judge me. They're gonna judge me regardless, but they're definitely judging me off the content I create. I don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, you have to like not give a fuck for you to pursue social media. Mm -hmm. Because if you do, it's gonna be like such a fucking nightmare for you. Yeah. You're like you really cannot care. Mm-hmm. 